How's it going everybody? Just playing with uh, Hogan's 266, giving her the old once over. I finally got this thing running. I don't know if you'll see the video. I just ran it before I'm shooting this. Don't know if you'll see the video before or after, but stay tuned friends. Uh, this thing's a runner. Where's my hearing protection? I can fire this thing up for you guys. Hold on a second. Let's see how this thing runs after sitting. This is not what we're doing today though. I have uh, something just as cool planned. <laughs> Choke. Okay, friends. <laughs> Once again, where am I? Hey, <laughs> do you guys see me? <laughs> I'm a little silly today, friends. I'm going to put this on the ground. I don't know how often I can say this without sounding like a broken record. <coughs> Ooh, it's smoky in here. Without the support of you guys out there, this channel would not be what it is. Uh, I'm a one-man gang, and you guys are just constantly helping me out. I really, once again, want to thank you guys for all that you do behind the scenes. There's so many of you that reach out to me and help me out, letting me know where to find parts, or maybe I have a question and, and I put it in a video. You guys will reach out and say, I've had that happen before. Here's what I did. Thank you. Uh, I'm just a guy puttering in my shop. And uh, it's nice to have other people to bounce ideas off of. And uh, it sure is nice when you guys send me stuff. Um, I had a really hard time with it when I first started this channel. Um, when I started this channel, I didn't know anything about YouTube. Uh, I, I didn't know anything about anything. I didn't know about uh, uh, advertising on YouTube or any of that stuff. I just wanted to help people out by putting videos up. Here we are, what are we, three years later. I think my first video was March of 2020, 2020, 2019. I'm not sure, friends, so um, been doing this every week pretty much since then, so thank you. Um, I had a hard time when you guys were first sending me stuff. Um, I'm just like that. I, I'm... I, I, I'm always quick to offer help and slow to ask for help, but um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys, you guys do me solids all the time. I'm going to cut to the chase here. <laughs> Fellow reaches out to me, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and says, I got a saw that's perfect for your upcoming content on your channel. Um, I'm going to pick it up and I'd like to send it to you. And he even went so far to say he didn't want me to mention him on the channel. Again, a humble man doesn't want any props. I reached back out to him and I said, I'd really, I'd really like to, you know, at least, you know, mention you on the channel because, you know, this, this is what keeps the channel going. A lot of it. Um, there's not a lot of pro saws where I live. I'm a power saw porter on the prairies. It's kind of a... It's kind of a, a silly thing when you think of it. There's not a lot of logging going on here. Not a lot of pro saws. There's a few of us, though, in this region uh, that love power saws. There's a few guys that I buy and sell and trade with. And um, there's a few of us power saw nuts out here. Anyhow, this fella, uh, Daniel Zuckerin, Zuckerin, Zuckerin. He bought this saw for the channel and mailed it to us. I have never seen one of these in real life. I've never touched one. Um, period. Friends, this is a original, old school 371 Husqvarna. Uh, it's all there. It's been run, but it's all there, friends. It, it's complete matching. Um, 
it looks like a complete OEM saw. The number tag is missing on it. It's rubbed through where the uh, where the it says 371, but it, the uh, the build date and everything is gone. But my guess is this is an early early 371. Daniel, thank you, buddy. Seriously. Oh, I see. So somebody robbed the the chain adjuster, but this piece is in there. I'm gonna have to go through my spares and see if I can find a chain adjuster. What I wanna do in this video is let's compare this to an original 372 and maybe even an X-Torque and let's, let's look at the differences. There are differences in this saw versus uh, the original. I'll bring you guys in close in a minute and let's have a good look at this saw. But Daniel didn't stop there. He said this saw is a runner um, but being the guy that he is, he's clearly a good fellow. He sent me a bunch of stuff in a box. Opti 2, you guys know that I've been around. This is the oil that I use. I'm not sponsored by them. I have no affiliation with Opti 2. This is the oil I use, 45 to 1, and I've never lost a saw since I've been running this stuff. Um... I really, really like this oil. This is not cheap oil, it's expensive, but uh, Opti 2 is the only oil I run in my saws. All of them, everything from my 1960s, 1950s Pioneers, all the way up to my modern ported saws and my modern auto-tune saws, they eat this Opti 2. This stuff here is sold at the Husqvarna dealers, um, so I'm guessing it's good oil if they sell it. Thank you, buddy. And then he goes further, this guy here, this Daniel Zuckerin guy, <laughs> sends me a highway gasket set for it, hopefully from Wolf Creek Saw Shop. <laughs> There's a shameless endorsement there. Hey Ryan, I hope you're doing well, buddy. Sends me that. SKF bearings for this saw. And one of those really awesome metal uh, carb brackets like I mentioned in my last video and you can never have too many of these a couple of snap-on uh, tuning screwdrivers these are nice I love snap-on and to polish it off because that wasn't enough <laughs> he sent me a meteor top end with a piston for a 371, this is a single ring 371 piston, which is awesome. And of course, a cylinder. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, nice meteor cylinder for a 371. 50 millimeter bore. Wow, this is nice. Looks like long blowdown in this. We'll have to we'll have to put a timing wheel on this when we get a chance. Okay, let's come in closer and check this saw that Daniel sent. Maybe we'll even try and fire it up. He said in his email. Oh, one more thing, friends. You guys always ask me what I use. Permatex Moto Seal. That's the gasket maker I use in all my saws. Never have I had a leak with it. When you do a base gasket to leave with this stuff, if you want to take that cylinder off, you got to tap it with a mallet. That's how glued on it is. So, again, Daniel watches the channel for sure. He knows what I use. Thank you, Daniel. Um, oh, he even sent me a wrist pin bearing in here. Wow. Thank you, buddy. I don't even... I mean, it was enough to just send a saw. You guys spoiled the bejesus on me. That's what keeps me going here, friends. I get a lot of emails about... Um, you guys are like, I can't... Um, it's amazing that you work, you have a baby, this land, and blah, 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 and you still do YouTube. Friends, I love sharing what I do with you guys. I, YouTube's fun. Um, it can be work, friends, making content, but it, it's when, when you get the positive feedback and people say, wow, I learned something, that's what keeps me going. You guys keep me doing this, and I just, I really want to appreciate it. I really want to take the time to show my appreciation. Let's come in close and look at an old school Husqvarna 371. Now I hear 
but these saws were pretty warm in their day. Um, they were hot rods almost to say. Now, they did change these. They had some teething issues like all saws do. Husqvarna did change these and eventually they ended up being the 372. Let's come in close. Let's have a look at this saw. And then if you guys want, let's compare this to a old school 372 and an X Torque. Let's see the differences in them. I'll bring you guys in. Okay, look at this thing. It's got the nice uh, aftermarket muffler on it with the single outlet. She's been run. I like them like this though. This is I like a saw like this because you're 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 gonna run it here. It's gonna live in the back of your truck. Um, just a nice presentable saw, but not too nice. You know what I mean? When you when you get some of these really nice saws that are just pristine, you almost don't want to run them. At least I'm like that. Okay, now this is a high top saw. I don't know. I don't know if this was converted. I believe these came low top. But again, I could be wrong. What do we got under the hood here? Looks like a looks like a Walboro HD. Probably like an HD12 or something like that. I can't see, friends. Okay, so these came out in Trying to think of what year, Freds. What year did these things come out in? I believe it was like the mid '90s, uh, '97 maybe, '96, '97. Right when the 272 came out, right a couple years after that, this came out, and it was. It's always my thought that Husqvarna had this waiting, but it wasn't quite ready, so they they put a 52 millimeter top end on a 268 and called it the 272. This thing's in nice shape. It looks good. Compression's a little low on it, but not horrible. Um, again, friends, it's just, it's basically a 372. Now, the the differences in this saw, they had problems with the cases breaking here um, when guys were running long bars on the West Coast. So when they came out with a 372, I believe they put, there's a big extra rib in here to keep the strength. Um, these were single ring pistons. They eventually went to a double ring. Um, you guys know, and I, I've talked about it. If you guys have been around these, these saws or a lot of saws that come out of my shop only have one piston in them or one piston. Jeez, friends, one ring. Um, I will often take the bottom ring out of a saw one ring, less friction, um, you end up with a snap of your saw, stuff like that. So I often do the one ring mod. Okay. Other than that, friends, 371. There's there's really not much in the way of difference. In fact, let's grab a 372. Okay, this is a 2005 372. Let's move this out of the way. I haven't even run this thing in the wood yet. I bought it off my buddy. My buddy built this saw. Okay, and if you look under the hood, they're, I don't know, they look identical to me. Okay, let's have a look under the hood. What, what's the difference? Is there any? Looks like the same carb intake, fuel line, same choke. So, if you guys look, I mean, they're they're the same saw. Look. Top cover from the 372. I've been asked this before and it's like, well, I've never had a 371 on my bench. I've never seen a 371. I think last year there was one for sale, okay? And same thing. Same top cover, air filter. Everything is interchangeable between these. Now, the main difference between a 372 and a 371, 372 has a stiffer case. It has a side chain tensioner here. That's when that came out. But look, friends, funny story. 372 still has the front chain tensioner. This one does. Okay, it still has the hole for it. Where this one, this one, and it's kind of neat. This saw doesn't have the spot for the side chain tensioner. 
Okay, it only has... Okay, and that's the dead giveaway that this is a 371 side cover. Now, the chain tensioner is missing, but it only has this. It doesn't have provisions for the side chain tensioner right here. But, if you wanted to put the 372 side cover on it, I'm sure you could. And I, I'll probably convert this one. Okay, so, basically the same saw. Really no difference. Clutch, everything's the same. The difference, like I said, between the two, mainly is the piston. Um, a 371 has a single ring piston. Let's take the muffler off the saw and have a look inside. Let's see if it's ugly or not. Okay, just like a 372. Take off these two bottom ones. When it rains, it pours, eh, friends? Been looking for a 372, 371 for years, and now I have many of them. Thank you to everybody that's helped. Daniel, thank you, buddy. My buddy who's a local, he sold me one so that I could work on it on the channel. Bucking gave me one. Uh, actually, my buddy locally sold me two. He sold me that Johnster at also. The 2165. Because really, friends, for me, if I'm doing work, I usually run a 365 special that I ported years ago, and uh, that's like my go-to chassis. I just, I really like that saw. It's got good power. Could have a little more power for if we're in the big wood, but for the stuff I'm cutting around here, it's usually perfect. That's the perfect saw. I've had that thing for years, and I've never put a wrench on it since I built it. Okay, I'm going to pick this thing up. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, friends, there's the piston. I'll put the decomp in. And it's pretty scored. In fact, friends, I don't even think I'm going to fire this thing up. Now, look. Two rings. So this thing's already had the piston changed. 100%. Now, I was reading that some of these went to a double ring. So this could be the correct piston for this saw. When we pull it down, we'll know more, but I'm going to go back to a single ring piston in this, probably the one that Daniel sent. Now, if this is an OEM top end, I'm not sure. If this is an OEM top end, I might actually, I might actually um, try and save this cylinder and we'll, we'll port that. Okay, I'm going to throw this thing back together. Okay, I threw this thing all back together. This thing's cool. Um, I've been looking for a 371. I know Bucken really likes a 371, and uh, I'd like to throw this thing back together and, and run it. Um, I'll definitely go through this saw. It looks like it needs some love. But again, Daniel, thank you, buddy. <laughs> he sent me everything I need to go through this saw, so... Um, this thing's going to end up on the bench sooner than later. We'll go through it. We'll put bearings, gaskets. Um, most of these on the shelf. This thing's pretty new. Um, this one's fully rebuilt, but I'd like to change the crank in it. This one needs a bottom end if I'm going to port it. So I definitely, I definitely have, there's another 372 that's barred up over there that I'm probably going to go through. So, um, we'll be doing, uh, just a whole bunch of 372 content, wrenching on them, porting them, all that stuff. So I can't wait. Daniel, thank you, buddy. This thing's awesome. Can't believe you guys send this stuff to me. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.